sauce. It was pretty good, Ziggy. You follow along. You do good. Hang on, let me manipulate things right here. There we go. Oh, that's a little bit easier on the... Okay, Anthony. Can you handle this one better? You, you got a bit of a rest about this? Huh? You got this? Go? Yeah, 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 we're good. We're good, we're good, Jelly Ghost. Just, just continue. All right. It tasted pretty good, and it was within reason, but I feel like you could add a little bit more fire and earth to it. But you did pretty good, so let's go with that. <laughs> now we got some bow run spare ribs. Oh, you got the big, big cat with that one. Hmm. You kind of overpowered the greens on that one, and you add a lot of waters. But you know what? You did pretty okay. So, I'm going to give you that much point for that. Only now you did good. Only now we are great. Only now I got bad. The winner of this battle is Mina Flan. Ah. Okay, that's a lot easier on my voice right now. <laughs> it's like I thought. This isn't a real blight. It's man-made. What? Who would do something that horrible? A dick. <laughs> Who indeed? On purpose, it would be too much for most people to stomach. But covering up an accident? That's a little easier on the conscience. Mm -hmm. But there's only one way to find out. Breaking into the Brigade's research lab. What? Do you want to be imprisoned? How can you think it's their fault with how hard they're trying to fight it? I started with some scraps of information from this body I'm possessing. The fuck? But once I showed up here, solving this problem turned out to be a lot more complicated. Than I heard. Wait. Ziggy, if you're just going to keep making jokes, I've got to get back to town. People's lives are at stake. I'm not joking. Oh! This is the real me. Stop playing around! I'm not proud of the things I did to get here. I want to stop this outbreak. Oh, jeez. I forgot about that. I don't need help breaking <clears throat> into the lab, but I can't bring the information I find to the brigade. They don't trust me, but you. I know how determined you are to get to the... You're not just in it for the tournament reinstatement. Help me end this. I don't know what to make of your stories, but I do want to put an end to the outbreak. That we do. To be honest, I've been meeting with Kieran and Thrash about it already. She's working on a cure. Oh, good. A cure? Well, that would be interesting. So what do you say? Teamwork? After you get the information, come find us. I'm against the break-in, but this is too serious to ignore. Okay. All right, Hamburger. And don't worry. Silent as a snake. Don't you mean Flanberger? I can't tell if I'm more unsettled by Ziggy's transformation or the thought that someone in the brigade is at fault. Definitely the transformation. I mean, I can willingly accept that it, someone in the brigade is at fault, but like, that transformation is going to live with me for a little while. Hey, more people in the crowd. Chefs, I require your undivided attention. I wish to keep this brief so that we may release our findings to the public. Okay. Due to your exemplary work, our scientists have determined mutated ingredients are not harmful when properly prepared. Okay. I'd like to extend special recognition. There were some in the committee who doubted our decision to reinstate you. You've gone above and beyond to prove you deserve your place. Up Yay! We've changed the rules for this year's proving tournament. Chefs won't be expelled until their fifth loss. But your previous record carries over. Okay. With that, our tournament begins anew. Yay! Vive la Brigade! Vive la Brigade! Came in! Came in! Came in! Back to the town of the gate. Trusting Ziggy was the right decision. Surely he wouldn't break into a brigade lab without good reason. Come again? Hey, Thrash. <laughs> you know, for a guard, you're not very alert. Ha ha. What are you doing out this late? I'm honestly impressed he stayed hidden that well for how big he is. Oh no, you first. What's this about breaking into a lab? If I tell the truth, will Thrash try to stop him? Will he tell Razzle? Maybe. Come on, you know you can trust me. It's Ziggy. 
He thinks the mutation was started by one of the Brigade's alchemists. He's breaking in to find out for sure. I told him to come find us one- Siren's not gonna like this. Nah, she won't. And you? Ziggy's a weird guy. I don't know if I trust him. I know what you mean, but when he talked about the outbreak, I believe him when he says he wants to fix it. Then, that's all I need to hear. I love you, Thrash. I've got to get back to my post. Good night, Blue Jay. Night, Thrash. <laughs> He's best dad. He is best dad. Mina Han still stay. Huh? That sounds like Instructor Rex. I don't know who this Mina Han is. supposed to visit until my final match. But if it's uh, Mina Flan, then yeah. No. Did she catch Ziggy? Nah. Ziggy too crafty for that. Oh. Mina, why? I Instructor... Just breathe. Good morning, cadet. I have a few questions to ask you about an incident that occurred last night. Well, shit. An incident? A citizen reported seeing a shadowy figure sneaking into the research lab last night. Well, shit. Did you see anything suspicious at your post last night? Play it cool, me. No, Thrash came to see me for a few minutes, but we weren't near the lab. I see. I've already spoken with him as well. That just leaves one other item. Uh-oh. Oh, no. What if she asks about Ziggy? Well, shit, if she does. Congratulations on your reinstatement. Ah, oh, you were a dick, but thank you. Ooh. Thank you, Instructor. I'm really happy to be back. And we are glad to have you, Cadet. Your expulsion was an unfortunate circumstance. That it was. Pleased to see your name on the returning roster. Yep. That means so much to me. Yep, 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 yep. To say. That's always good. Except that I wish I could tell you everything. Oh god, don't. Just keep your focus on the tournament. Okay, that was internal dialogue. At this point could cost you everything. There won't be another opportunity to re-enlist this year. I imagine. Yeah, why would you re-enlist him again? I know. And I promised to do I don't doubt it. Okay. Very well. I must continue the investigation. Good day to you, Mina. Goodbye, Razzle. So close. Ziggy. This better not be some kind of joke. Please don't pop up behind her. Okay. Hello. Hey, Lena. You only have to win one more, huh? <laughs> Go ahead and be nervous, man. You're so good. Hey, Chef Pop. Yep, she's having a lovely time. Hey, Caesar. Well, look here. You climbed your way back up. Uh... Just as I thought, I'd found some peace and quiet for once and for all. I admit it, you missed me, Caesar. Give me a hug. I don't care to hear it. Come on, give me a hug. Arms open. Give us a hug. Give us a hug. All right. Oh, the tea kettle. Charmed, I'm sure. Walking oven, Belky, I must love this. Uh, Quetzal. His name is T-Bot. I'm Quetzal the Luminary. Quetzal Luminary. Luminaire? Okay. <laughs> wow. Talk about being thrown over proportion. <laughs> Okay, someone doesn't know how to people work. All right, well, let's cut the bell here. What's it say about the? It could be a good addition, but I'm really good. Yep. What are you two up? Oh, just trying to save the world with cooking and science. You know the deal. Oh yeah, definitely. Saving the world with cooking and science, the Master Chef way. Okay. We're working on an antiviral medicine for the mutated monsters. Oh, cool. Can I help in any way? Absolutely. I am drowned. I still need to move forward with my ambrosia formula. The brigade is checking in on... Got it. I can... Let's make the ambrosia. 
and your sturdy dash perfection counter combo will come. Energize, sir, low quality taste gems. Okay. Combo up right now. Combo. Combo. Okay, so I did do that right. Okay. No pan for you. We'll need to build up your combo before time runs out. And three. All right, and we will one, two, three. And three. Okay, I got the gist of that pot. How did those horn shavings do? Quiet. Hmm. This anchovies. <laughs> right again, Kieran. <laughs> That's Kieran for you. No one works harder than Kieran. Alright, um... What do you guys got in the shop this time? What is it, ingredients? Yeah. I'm back, baby. Oh yeah, good for you, Wart. All right, we will. I embalm them with a technique I learned. It's exquisite. They don't look a day decayed. Perfectly frozen in time. Oh, she's in a hunter getup. Cool. Hey there, Mina Flan. Museum of Monster History. This girl isn't interested in stories. She's here for another hunting job, aren't you? Bet she is. Unfortunately, I'd like to hear a story. Uh, uh, well. I am, but I'd love to hear about your hunts too. Don't patronize her, Mina. No, She'll get pissed. Scale here. Not a chip or scratch on it, see? Mm hmm. And she ignored Mina. Alright. Armor turtle's a jerk. Ziggy, can you hear the spirits of Thorn's trophies? No, they're too far out of my reach. Okay, so it's been dead too long. Their energy is gone, far away from this realm. Oh. So, huh. I wonder what they'd say. They said, "Holy crap! She shot me in the ass." And then, eh, I died. Sure ate a lot. Maybe you should try an eating contest. Simon? That's Simon. Yep, Simon. <laughs> Ready to get back to work? Well, of course. Glad to hear it. I need all the help I can get. <gasps> Thrash! Hiya. Good to see you. Oop. Someone just spilled their water. Gotta go. Perfect timing. Let's get to it. To work oh, this about. Thank you. Ah, crap. Okay. Eat! Hey! 
Okay. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, some of these just make me scared to do anything. Ah, <laughs> uh, uh. Uh, fudge. Ah, uh, fudge. Oh, crap. Oh, shit. Balls. Okay. We got this. We got this. Uh huh. Um. Uh. Uh. Go with you. And go, uh. uh, uh. Um. Okay, there we go. Sorry, dude. Uh. wasn't fun. That one was stressful. Ooh, that was way more intense than the duel. Yeah, so is the curse of working in a kitchen. No kidding. My feet are killing me. <laughs> All in a day's book, recruits. For now, you've done a great job. Catch your breath, then make way for my paying customers. All right, thank you, Pumpita. Yes, ma'am. At least the pay is good. Alright, now to get back at that little turd who called who made fun of my cooking. Alright, um Hmm. Slowly replaced fragile. Now let's keep it how it is. All right. I graciously accept. Yep, you better. Cause it's a fight you want, and a fight you're gonna get. We make our way to the capital city today. Victusians, it is with greatest shame. That I apologize for the tournament's interruption. Probably an earthy type of thing. For the love of the brigade and the glory of Victusia, I vow never to let a blight disrupt our ceremonies again. Here, here, Kevin! It's with utmost pride that I announce the return of many fantastic contestants. Kevin! Was instrumental in uncovering the correct way to prepare blighted meat. Yeah. The Iron Stomach has returned! The Phoenix rises from its ashes. The Iron Stomach is back and ready for battle! Oh yeah! Mina! Flan! Quetzal is joined by a sentient marvel of culinary magic named T-Bot. Squeak! She's our first contestant in the history of the tournament to use a team name. The T-Totalers! They're the T-Totalers. Uh, if I could do an R2 impression, I'd do it. An acolyte of the source from... Thank you, Chairman Khan. Sargon! In my travels, I've sampled many cuisines. Do not think you can pass off poor cooking because I'm foreign. Ah, oh, please, man. I cook good. The fact that you're foreign makes the challenge even better. Some cultist cooking is full of fiery flavors. I'd like a departure from the north that features earth and water. Earth and water, okay. I, that sounds fun. This explosive match will be mediated by the wisdom of Grand Matriarch Hasjil. And Hasjil obviously is going to give me something earthy again. Now that these hopefuls have restored balance in the face of a blight, I've no doubt cooking is more than recipes and precision. Rely on your intuition to determine how Earth will harmonize with your theme ingredient. Okay. The power of the Earth again. One hundred years ago, some of our forebearers were reluctant to consume monster flesh, fearing the effects of cursed meat. Well, anyone would. 
Chefs of the brigade searched far and wide for the most animal-like monsters to convince these holdouts. Okay, and what had that go about? Among the first accepted by the populace was the succulent Cragmore. The Cragmore. That's the ingredient. Vive la brigade! Well, everybody, looks like it's time to duel on the next episode. <laughs>